All right, guess what time it is? It's time for some H3 VR. A new update just came out, and uh, yeah, there we go. It's the minigun, or the medic's uh, minigun from Team Fortress. It's now in H3 VR. Look at that. Oh, he even makes a sound. That's pretty cool. All right, so there's no ammunition for this thing. It's purely a uh, defensive weapon. Helps uh, heal people. Spawn up some bots. Let's see. Uh, let's do wander bots. Got some red red guys on you know on my side. Hmm. Hold on, wait a minute. Just uh, try this out here. Oh, there we go. Now it works. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't work before, but yeah. So now you can heal them. Uh, no, I need a weapon. That's cool. You can uh, uber charge them now, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. And a nice little particle little trail thing. Oh, I guess he went behind a wall. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I wanted to break his neck. No, all right, you know what? I need to go away. Let's put this and let's spawn in a weapon. I think Anton already showed this off, so I might have to do this in uh, Meat Fortress. Uh, although I don't know if I have enough battery. Oh man, I should have charged up my controllers before I went in the game. Oh well, that's okay. If uh, if I run out of battery, I'll just uh, make another video. So again, you can heal them up; they won't die. Uh, well, they won't die fast. They'll still get injured. Oh, wait, no, he's dead. Okay, well, they still can die, so. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I forgot to spawn a ammunition. Spawn locket. Come on, no, get inside the, uh. Oh, man, I really hate these sometimes. There we go. All right, so let's try the Uber charge. Let's go with the uh, scout here. Okay, scout, you ready for a nice test? No, don't move. Oh, I'm out. Hmm. The scout has the weakest amount of health, so he will get staggered pretty easily. Oh, and it also helps uh, heal you, so you notice there. I kind of damaged myself with that uh, soldier's bazooka, but uh, I got my health back. So, yeah, you know. I want to try this out in Meat Fortress. I can't wait. <laughs> Hopefully I have, enough, uh, I have enough juice in my battery to make it work. All right, so that's the Medigun. Will you see more of that in Meat Fortress if I get a chance? The other change, uh, which I'm I'm kind of okay with, uh, you, I didn't have a problem before because remember I'm running the Vive and it's a lot easier on the Vive. But Anton decided to uh, fix the lever actions again. <laughs> this is like the third time, but uh, now it's a lot easier to run these. For some people. Again, I have the Vive, so it's not too hard. But for people with Oculus or... Uh, there we go. So basically... Oh, you know, the doggies are barking. Sorry about that. Let me see. Hi, controller Geo. 
All right. So basically, back then, it used to be you had to... Uh, You had to basically go like this, which is again, it's really easy on the Vive. So, you know, that movement right there. But now you can just push forward, it's sort of like a reverse shotgun. You've got your grip here, and instead of pumping with this hand, you're now pumping with this hand. See how that works? So, like I said, you know, I was, I was okay with the um, original, because Again, I have lots of movement with the Vive controller going this way. But uh, a lot of other people will probably find that pretty useful, and that's cool, you know. Anton always listens. Anton always delivers. Got ourselves the... Uh, yeah, this is the, one of my issues with uh, some of the lever actions is the controllers kind of get too close to each other. So when you're loading these rounds in, sometimes you might hit your controllers. Is uh, yeah, well, then, you know, that's okay. You just get used to it. Oh, <laughs> turn this off. There we go. So now you can just push forward with your rear hand right here. This hand, not this hand, this hand. So it's like really fast you know you can a lot you can be a lot more faster now this is cool and also uh, one thing that Anton added which uh, I'm happy that he added but again kind of uh, oh this is not the right one hmm. did it disappear somewhere hmm I don't know. Let me just check here. Okay. Let me see if I can find it. Huh. It's not here. Which is... Uh, oh, there it is. I found it. It's this one. The rail axis tilt double-sided. Which is pretty cool. For a lot of people. But for me... Well, I already decided to make my uh, weapons here. Now I'm going to have to do this all over again. But that's actually pretty cool, you know? More more choices, more positions. I mean, let me see if I can edit one of my things here. Where is the carbine? We got the left hook. All right. And, uh, you see I got a little grenade launcher here. I can take off this. Bayonet. Oh no, I spawned another one. Why? Just get rid of that. Oh man, I'm going to have to do this all over again. Let me see if I can figure what can I put on these. Maybe uh, something back here. And I'll maybe stick the grenade launcher there. Right there. And then I could stick like a one of these babies on there. <laughs> pretty cool pretty cool I like that move this forward a bit so stick this stick right there there we go look at that that's what I'm talking about oh yeah the on the other side too so you can add another one of these uh, I think this is the car key the barrel Car key, yes. Short one. No, this is the, uh, oh, this is the house key. <laughs> Get those two confused sometimes, but yeah, put one right there. Oh. Come on. I want you to get on there. There we go. Okay. There we go. So now you can have two on either side. <laughs> if you wanted to. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do that in a separate video. As you saw, I have a lot of weapons that I put in my vault already, which uh, I was—I said I was going to make a video about, but uh, I decided not to because it took me about like three hours to get all of these done. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I might do something a little shorter, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna 
I'm going to have to pass on that because I don't think anyone wants to watch three hours of me uh, kind of boringly sticking stuff onto uh, all these weapons. <clears throat> so, I think those are all the changes. Let's go into a little bit of Meat Fortress. Uh, oh yeah, that's that's also new. You can all you don't you don't accidentally uh, you have to click these things twice now. So let's go back to the main menu. I like the loading; it's pretty fast now. Anton did his wizardry to make us get into the game faster. By fast, I mean like you know faster than before. Before it used to take a lot of time. I, I run a uh, hard disk drive. And uh, it's terrible. <laughs> Buy an SSD. So let me see if the uh, Medigun is here. Let's also get the syringe, which has also been fixed. Thank you, Anton. I don't know where I'm going to put this right here. Oop, there we go. Oh, I forgot to spawn lock the syringe. All right. Time to be a medic. I'm, like I said earlier, uh, before... When I was playing Meat Fortress, I'm more of a engineer, but as you can see, the engineer doesn't really have much. <laughs> we got a shotgun, a pistol, and a wrench, so I can't wait for Anton to add some cool stuff to the engineer. I'm going to put these on six. Let's do fast spawning for both. We'll do center, and am I on red? I'm on red. Okay, good. All right. Let's go... Uh, Help her team out. Oh, there's a heavy. Come back here. Am I charged? Nope, not yet. Oh, we're charged. We need to find some enemies, though. Come on, Hoovy. Let's go. <laughs> Where are the bad guys? Come on. I got an Uber charge already. Oh, what happened there? Oh no! My hoovy! Come back here! There we go. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> Come on! Oh! Oh no! This is primarily what happens. Oh. Don't be dead. Are you still alive? Thank you. Good job. This is what happens when you play as a medic. Okay, good. I got my Uber charge ready. Where's that uh, soldier? You need some help? Rot, mister. Whoops. In the wrong place. You're all soft bodied, legless larva. As you can see, this thing has a generous range. You can be pretty far from uh, from your intended target, but uh, it's pretty nice. Oh, all these explosions! All right, I'm gonna go heal this uh, demo man. He looks like he needs some health. There we go. Oh, 
Oh no. There we go. Of course, if you get tired of healing people, you can bring the pain. Oh! Direct hit. Oh, no, come on. Oh wait, you're on my team. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to shoot you. Here, let me heal you up here. <laughs> He's got the question marks going. Why did you shoot me? Oh, overcharge. Taking fire here. Pretty cool. You can uh, once you've locked onto somebody, you can just like put the uh, thing in your quick belt, in the minigun. Oops. Oh, those are our guys. So essentially, he's being charged right now. Or, uh, not charged, but healed. And then I can do some defense. Oh, I am being healed slowly as well. Oh no! Come back here! Dead. Get up. Get up, Poovy. Come on. Oh, he's getting too far from me.
I need a longer range weapon. Ah. No. Where did my heavy go? He's gone. I gotta retreat. Oh, I'm terrible with this. Come back here, demo. Give me that shotgun. Come, my colleagues. Let us quench our opponents. Oh. That shotgun is empty. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Spawn right in front of me. Oh, <laughs> run away. Is there a guy up there? Oh no, there's people up there. Oh no, he died. Whoops. Not good. No, don't die on me, engineer. They're just launching grenades all over the place, aren't they? You're still alive? Oh, now you're dead. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no! Heal you up, spy. Oh no, spy's dead. Oh. Yeah, well, there we go. Whoops. Well, that was pretty fun. It's a pretty cool weapon. Where am I? Uh, I'm lost in my play space. Let me get back to the center here. Too close to the wall there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there we go. It's the Medigun right there. Pretty cool. I love that it makes a sound when you, uh, that classic Half-Life, uh, beep sound. Beep. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool. Really like this. All right, man. I cannot wait for what, uh, Anton has in store for us, uh, engineers out there. It's, this is a little lacking, like I said. We've got most everybody's, oh, actually, maybe, uh, Spy. Spy needs the, uh, Invisicloak watch. Whatever that thing was, the, the watch that makes you a uh, cloak. But uh, it seems like we've got most of everybody's. Got sniper, scout, medic, soldier, heavy, demo, pyro. So now all we need is uh, engineer and scout. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. If you guys have uh, H3VR, go try it out. Uh, actually, where's my computer now? I need to find it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. And uh, that's it for today. Not much on the uh, on the update scale. Because we already got all the good stuff like the grenade launchers and bayonets and stuff. But uh, this is pretty cool, you know? Give some for the uh, medic fans out there from Team Fortress 2. And uh, yeah, that's it. Going to see you guys next time. Later.